We have a beautiful four foot black chain link fence. This homeowner wanted to outline their property, have a double gate access. So we ended up core drilling for them, boxing out their, their patio. We intentionally placed the gate so that while they parked their cars, they could pull all the way up to their normal parking location. That's why it's not centered. So that this is their primary gate, this is their secondary gate. They can open their main gate every day to walk out and still access their car without causing a ding in the car. Pretty important. The other thing we did for this homeowner, you see this gutter kick out right here? It used to be a B elbow coming straight out. We then went out, took the gutter match off, went out to the supply store, color matched the gutter, and it got a flexible extension hose to relocate their water drainage so that it works well for their yard. Going into the backyard, there were a couple unique situations with this chain link fence that we don't typically run into, but we love to problem solve these solutions with the homeowner to really give them the best fence that meets their goals. The first one, there's a drainage pipe running through the ground here. We were able to locate that drainage pipe and as it runs up the yard, jump over it, push ourselves into the tree and be able to put this section of fence in to keep their dog secure and safe from running away. It's a large puppy and he is curious. The next section, we came off the garage edge and you'll notice that this is a pretty good hill. We had to do what's called a bias stretch to stretch that fabric up the chain link run. You need to add in relief posts because that chain link, if I had started here and gone to that edge there, that, that gate, it does not want to make that hill. So you absolutely have to put these relief posts in in order to maintain a tight stretch, keeping it close to the ground. We added a four foot gate in the side of their yard. Why would you add a four foot gate in the side of your yard when you don't really use it? Well, if you have kids or you're throwing a ball around with anyone else and that ball goes into the neighbor's yard, you're gonna wish you had a gate to go get that ball instead of running all the way around through the neighbor's yard, waving at your, your neighbor Joe and grabbing your ball. Now, one more thing with this gate, you notice, man, this is a little bit of a hill right here very slight hill we racked this gate meaning we intentionally pushed that gate out of square so that way it would continue with that top line same thing around the edge square gate in the back and then over here we put a relief post in that way if they ever needed to change their fence because their neighbor takes down their existing fence we have easy places to tie into